Welcome back foodies, Leo here, full-time foodie and full-time eater. We're putting in overtime this week. Today, my friend Basil and I, we had the displeasure of visiting Jernigan's. In our opinion, the biggest scam in restaurant history. I debated a long time about releasing this video, but ultimately decided it was the right thing to do for my viewers. And hopefully, if I can save a few people $100, then it will have been worth it for me. Jernigan's is the exclusive club level reservation only restaurant inside the Amway Center which is only open during Orlando Magic Games and other concerts or events. The cost of this experience was $76 per person and it includes buffet style food, a carving station and fountain beverages. You must have an event ticket purchased to enter the Amway Center. So this is an additional cost on top of that. It is a comfortable private area with private food buffet and bar to accommodate the guests. We checked some of the reviews and menus from different dates and it seems that they serve prime rib at the carving station. We knew the cost would be high from other reviews it seemed to be within the $40 to $60 price range. I'm not sure if our price was a permanent price increase or not. Alcoholic drinks were priced at around $10 to $13 each. In this video, I'm showing all of the food which was offered the day we visited. A good amount of the items were never replenished, such as the charcuterie meats and cheeses and the cupcakes. We didn't get a chance to try those because they were gone and never replenished. The only food which was done well and I could honestly recommend to my viewers was the Irish herb chicken, the charcuterie, if you could get in early and grab what you would like to eat, and the french fries which had great flavor and were nice and crispy. The pork tenderloin at the carving station was very dry and you would receive three small slices at a time. The fried fish fillets tasted like store bought frozen breaded fish. The corned beef from the corned beef and cabbage was moist at the beginning of the night but later on after another plate ended up being very dry. I will be back to the Amway Center to film the concession foods they have to offer. I would like to confirm if they have any food there which is worth your hard earned money. Thanks for joining me and make sure to subscribe for more Orlando Eats. Remember to eat, drink, and be merry. In this case, hopefully it's at another restaurant other than Jernigan's.